The U.S. Department of Energy has announced a major breakthrough in energy research. Scientists have successfully replicated a nuclear fusion. It's similar energy from the sun that could possibly power our homes and more. One researcher tells KPRC2's Rilwan Belogan that teams in Houston are working on ways to safely use this energy. Rilwan, good morning. Hey, good morning. Researchers at the University of, Ten of Houston say that they're actually working on the material to possibly sustain that energy from a fusion to one day run a power plant. So today we tell the world that America has achieved a tremendous scientific breakthrough. For the first time in nearly 60 years, researchers have successfully produced the first ever nuclear fusion, replicating fusion activity similar to those of the sun. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory, anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. Scientists believe it could become a safe and clean source of energy. A professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Houston said researchers in Texas already working to make the once theory operational. As the energy capital of the world, what does this mean for Houston and Texas overall, would you say? We are creating a material that will make fusion work in a more practical scale. Uh, so what has been demonstrated today is that fusion concept works, right? That's how it's been done today. But how do you make it practical, right? I mean, so the uh, so our, what the material that we are developing, the superconducting wires that we are developing, and few others are also doing that. So that will make fusion a practical reality. Now, researchers say it doesn't necessarily mean that we will be able to flip the switch and using this new source of energy, but they say over time, uh, one day we will, it will be able to uh, light and power entire cities and be used in batteries that we all use in our vehicles. Reporting live, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. Roman, thank you.